What's up, everyone? Aaron Schatz back with you again for another game. This time it's Solaris. This is basically, if you think about it, it's sort of a real time strategy slash turn based hybrid 4X space game. It's similar to like Mash of Orion 2 and that sort of genre in that it's empire building. You know, you, you basically expand, exterminate, exploit. I forgot what the other X is. Let's see here. Expand, exploit, exterminate. I can't remember what the other X is, but whatever. It's basically an empire building game, and it's actually really fun. The differences between this game and like Master of Orion 2 is this game takes a really long time. It's made by Paradox Interactive. They're the people that made City Skylines, really fun game, open, basically an open-ended game. This is basically the same type of thing. You start a game, you could be in that game for 20 or 30 hours before you're you're completed with the game. So it's actually really fun to actually get involved, but you can't think of it like I originally did as a Massive Orion 2 kind of experience. Like I was like, okay, you know, I was in the game an hour, I'm like, what is going on here? Why can't like why why am I not going anywhere? And this game is really in it for the long haul. When you start a new game, you really have to be involved. Like you start it, you do a couple hours and then you stop, and then you continue later. That's what you have to think about this game. I understand that Solaris actually has a new DLC called Utopia, but I'm on the base game right now. And I think this is, yeah, it's 1.6 I'm on right now. So that's what we're going to be showing, and we're going to go through a playthrough of a new game. And if I can tell you this, I just finished a game after like, so I've been playing for about 66 hours or so. And the last game I think it took about 20 to 25 hours, I'm not actually sure. And I actually won that game, it's the first one I won. The other ones I started and then stopped because I didn't like how they were going. So I just like, I was like, oh, it's time to start something new. And basically, the, the play style I'm gonna go through, well, 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 let's just start this, start a new game. So I've created something for everybody to see. So I've created something, basically, you could see in this that they give you a whole bunch of stuff to, to pick from. I've created this one. So I, I like I like what this one looked like, the Commonwealth of Man. So I made something different. So let's just say I added a little biography here. So I'm gonna edit this and show you. Basically, think of this as the Terrans on Earth decided that war was the best way to do everything. And that carried them into that sort of thing into the stars. So now they're the United Terran Empire, which of course that means they're dictated or, uh, dictatorial, meaning somebody rules that shit with an iron fist. Now that being said, it also means that they strive for having the unity of themselves. They're xenophobic, obviously. They don't like anybody else. It also means that they're materialistic, or they're, yeah, so they're materialistic, which mean, actually, here's, I'm going to show you what these actually mean. So, I came up with this little biography. When humanity was young, the lowly Terrans fought their way into supremacy of the planet. Now, they look to the, they look to the stars to conquer. The weak didn't inherit the earth in this timeline. Oh, boy, I'm, I make myself laugh on that one. Oh, let's see what we got here. All right, so, um, appearance, yep. See, I chose a female, and this style so there you go and those are the names at uh, the the ship prefix is UTE United Terran Empire so I've chosen what I think is going to be pretty pretty good for the play style that I like so my play style is sort of like what, what works for me is to sort of like rapidly expand to the first couple of colonies and then really, you know, figure it out from there. Like, what I've noticed is people can turtle up, stay on one, one planet for a long time, and then, you know, get a big resource boost. But what I've noticed is if you don't have the actual industry to survive when you have encounters with people, and if, you, and if you're not constantly pushing out your borders, you can get squashed pretty easily. And that's, that's the big thing in this game. And let's face it, I'm all about war. All about war. So I chose an adaptive trait, which basically gives us increased habit, ah, 
habit, habit, <laughs> I just can't speak today, habitability. So meaning like if I encounter planets that aren't exactly the same as Earth, it'll still be better than if I wasn't adaptive. I chose the negative trait of sedentary because basically I don't care about the migration in the early game and in the late game I'll deal with that later. I don't really migrate that many people anyway. I, since I'm a materialistic society, which we'll go into in a little bit, I'm going to be building a lot of robots and stuff. One of the big things that I've noticed about this game is the population growth speed leaves something to be desired, so anything to increase that will help. You know, there's a lot of things that you can actually do. I was thinking about doing intelligent, which increases the research output, but honestly in the early game, this is, the early game stuff is really more important to me than the, the mid and late game. Because the early game will really determine what you're going to be able to do in the mid and late game. And like I said, since we're going to war with everybody, come on. Yeah, so Judith Tyler, Francis Curtis, Hong Yang, uh, let's see, who are we going to let's... Tiffany Reynolds, that's the girl, yep. Yeah. So we've got a female ruler, Tiffany Reynolds, Continental World, here we go. As you can see, Earth is a continental world, it's wet, and we're in the solar star system. And that's, that's pretty much it. Yep, a million. Okay, so here we go. I kept the same stuff as the commonality of man, the commonhood, the commonwealth of man, the preset. Except I changed, I, I like militaristic. Or mili militarist. I don't know why it's not militaristic, but whatever. I like militarist because that's what I want to do. And the increased firing rate from this and this really helps out too. I like xenophobic because the border range, you get 15% border range. And if you're a fanatic of that, you get 30%. That's crazy. But I really like to build robots and in the in the later game you get you know even more sentient types of robotic people and because you're a materialist you get an increased research speed bonus which is good and that's why I chose those things and these things I just kept and obviously we're a dictatorship because why not <laughs> we're a military dictatorship and it's the United Terran Empire and the adjective is Terran and obviously this is the crest. Look at that. We're going to start with missiles. Now, later game, missiles are not like that good. But your starting weapons doesn't necessarily matter. But for starts, it does. Missiles like are pretty long-range weapons. So if you can fire volleys before they can even get a shot off, it's really good in the early game. And then later on, we'll research energy weapons and all that stuff once we can start to scan other things and we get into wars and stuff, so that's fine. So here's the interesting part about this game. There's three methods of travel. I like warp travel and I like wormhole travel. The problem that I have with wormhole travel for me is I actually forget to build wormhole stations everywhere. So what I recommend for new players and such is actually warp travel or hyperspace travel, but... The difference between hyperspace and warp is that hyperspace lanes are actually predefined. Whereas warp travel, you can actually pick any star and it'll actually go to that star. It might jump to another star, but generally, if you want to go to a star that's next to somebody, you can. Whereas hyperspace, you may not be able to. There might not be a lane that connects to that. Wormhole is interesting that you have to build wormhole stations. And to actually go to two stars, let's just say you have a wormhole station in, in Seoul, and you want to go to another star system. As long as it's within the range of the wormhole, that's fine. But if you want to go to, if you're not in Seoul, and you have a wormhole station in Seoul, and you want to go to another star system, you basically have to jump to Seoul first, and then jump to the next one. So there has to be a wormhole station in either the termination point or the origin point of your jump. But the wormhole travel is really quick compared to warp. And that's really interesting, but again, my play style, I can't use it because I, I don't pay attention at the time and I just forget to build wormhole stations everywhere. But if you like that style, and, and honestly, once I get you know into a couple of new play styles, that's something I actually want to conquer because the benefit of wormhole travel is like the speed. You can put once you put a wormhole station, that's pretty quick to get from A to B. And it's really powerful. 
But for now, we're just going to do warp travel. And obviously, we have a million ships. Great. And there you go. Save this. Done. Oops. Get that rid of it. So we're going to do medium, elliptical, AI empires. We'll do nine. We'll do whatever the, the, the default is. Advanced AI starts. We'll do three, I guess. Two fallen empires at most. Regular habitable worlds. Normal aggressiveness. Normal difficulty. Any FTL, empire placement, whatever. Advanced neighbors. No. End game crisis. Yes. And the play style that we're going to do is what I like to call hindsight is 2020. We're not going to play in Iron Man mode, which means that there are going to be times where I save the game, I'm going to try something and see if it works, and if not, we're going to reload it and try it again. So this is a game. It's not. A, I'm not role playing per se. I'm just going to try to beat the game. So that's what we're in. So you're going to see me save a bunch of times, try something, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to reload that save. So there you go. Let's get started. Yes! Alright. Here we go. Awesome. So now I'm in the soul system. And this is the first time I'm actually doing the soul system because normally I would do the neb because I was playing from the Commonwealth of Man type of start. But generally it's all the same stuff. So what I normally do first is I go to Earth or wherever the main planet is. And, ooh, look at this. So, I get plus 10% food already from this governor of mine. Felix McCoy. Good job, bro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build another science ship. Because exploration is really important in the early game. What you want to do is always survey... Whoops. No, come here. So you want to survey this entire system. And then once that's done, you're going to survey other systems. But... What you're also going to do is you're going to take your ships, break them apart into separate fleets, and now, if you look over here, you can see the border that I have. This red, because red's my favorite color. Red is our borders. So what we want to do first is to take our fleets and just survey the area around here. And you can hold shift, and you can actually do queued orders. So I'm going to have my ships just check all this stuff out. And then I'm going to have my science ships do the rest. But what I want to make sure of and I want to see is what is, where are the, oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, well. All right, so here we go. So we're going to do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, so that's that one. Oh no, okay, it was good. And uh, wait, wait, which one? All right, so that one, that one's got two guys there. So on, I'm gonna do this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't remember if I did that one, then that one, then that one. That one, that one, that one. Ideally, what I want to find is a is another planet a little bit outside of my border. So when I actually get it, my border expands a lot more. So that's what I'm trying to find here. So let's just get started and see what happens. So I'm going to put this on fast because I think me normal is a little too slow. So you'll see my guys starting to go do their stuff and... This scan, this is going to scan, just remember surveying is the the best thing you can do. Oops, forgot to also do this. My mis big mistake for not doing this. So, a lot of people that I've, when I've been reading on the internet have said like, oh, you should always get the physics lab and always get the, the, um, oh, look at this. So, to me, I like pouring a lot of energy into one specific area, and let's just see if engineering has it. Yes, engineering has the engineering facility. So I'm going to focus on engineering for, for the first time. So, because you can only upgrade your science building to one type of thing, either the engineering society or 
or the physics type of research area, to me, it doesn't make sense to immediately research the actual, you know, bio lab or, you know, the physics lab immediately because the chances of you having multiple science buildings on the same planet for, this, for in the beginning, to me, is kind of small. And growth speed is much more important to me right now. And you can see that this is going to take 24 months as is. So I think that the research speed boost that we're going to get is more important right now. But I'm going to make, we're going to focus on engineering to start. So that's why I'm going to focus on engineering facilities. So now we can get started. The, the interesting thing about this game is that this whole playthrough might turn out to be a gigantic failure. So we'll see. Wait, what? All right, let's see what we got here. So I want, oh, see, now I can build a mining station here for, for energy credits. So the interesting thing about this game is like, there's so many different types of currency in this game. Food is obvious, I don't care about food. These two are, are interesting, which we'll go over later. Uh, I'm trying to see here, uh, we're just gonna let this go. So I'm gonna, I wanna build a, I wanna get some more money. Complete. All right, okay, so now I'm gonna pause the game. Space bar is pause, quick pause. So I'm gonna, I need a leader for this science ship. So let's see what we got here. Research speed plus 10, huh? Let's see what these are. Yes, and then the physics research, we're going to do this guy. So because this guy was was a faster researcher, I swapped him in there. And now my other science ship. Okay, so here we go. We have a planet here. Looks like 13. Not that great. So, But I'm going to still send this science ship to this here first. I will hold shift, and then I will survey these, and then I will see where it goes in a little bit. And while these other guys are, are cruising around, we'll see what's going on. So I'll restart this, let it go. Okay. So there they go. Okay, this Situation one. Situation log updated. Oh. All right, so I'm going to pause this real quick. Oh, shiz. What kind of ships are these? Okay, these are... these are. Don't worry about these. These are probably just nothing. Yeah, they're, they're probably just like regular things. So we'll let them go. Okay, so I forgot to do this. Oh, wow, Mercury. Look at Mercury. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our construction ship and then we're going to tell it to build a mining station immediately. Because we need some money. We gotta pay attention to the energy credits. So we're gonna get this going and then we're gonna get Soul's energy credits. The sun, basically. And, oh, see here, what do we got here? Oh, this is golden. Oh, continental world, this, this might be good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell this to survey this and immediately I want this over here. All right, maybe not immediately because it seems kind of ridiculous. So we're going to survey this, survey this, and then survey this, and then survey this, and then we'll take it from there. Oh, it's the same ones. Man, what is going on here? Okay, it's fine. So this is building the station. So this is the early situation game. log updated. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> I'm not gonna bother with what's going on here. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Good talk. 
I don't really research any any like contact for a long time. Oh. I could be a real giant asshole and just like So this is an AI real close to me. So I think I know who I'm going to uh, attack first. So I'm going to have to basically get my industry up and running pretty quickly. That's okay. Great. Situation log See, the updated. problem is this might lie in somebody else's in somebody else's uh, thing, and that's that's not good. Okay, let's see, where where is this guy going? Oh wait, what do we got here? 17, that's not so bad. Okay. I wanna go here next, and then here next, and then here, 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 here. You're good to go still, you're... You're the science vessel, you're doing whatever you're doing over there. What is going on here? I'm like, there's too much stuff going on already. Okay, good. Construction complete. Yes, good. Now we've got that's going, so I'm gonna wait until I get enough. Move this over here. Okay. Again? What's going on here? What are there's so many things going on here? This 17 is a potential. I can't believe they. St I can't believe a an AI is so close to me. That's okay though. We're gonna have to just. We're just gonna have to go nuts on this. All right, good. Let's build a mining station here. <clears throat> so I don't see anything too interesting yet. Tomb world, that sucks. Okay. This is an ocean world, so that means habitability is not as great as continental. But what do we got here? Tropical. It's only 12, I don't like that. From the 17 is more like it, but this one is I like this one a lot better. But still we gotta really so, System oh. survey complete. Alright, good. So Alpha Centauri has been surveyed. Tropical 24, this might be a possibility as well. So this science vessel, after it's done, doing whatever it's doing, I want it to come over here, survey this, immediately. And then, this one's only 12, it's not really over there. I'll worry about it later, that's what I want it to do next. Okay, so that's building the station, and then... Construction complete. Okay, good. So now I've got enough energy credits. Okay, that's okay. Oh, wow. Here 
next. Possibilities. That's good. All right. So what do we got here? We got a three over here, and this is good for research. We need to build research stations as well. But since these are here, I'm going to have it enter this orbit here. Uh oh. Interesting. Situation log updated. Let's see what the situation log says. So we have to find all their stuff and we have to survey habitable worlds, which we'll do. Okay, so we'll just keep going. Oh, look at this. What do we got here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 19 C. These are all possibilities. This is this is interesting. I like this one though. I really do like this one so far, so let's just see what it's doing. That's interesting. We have encountered a massive ring world in the sanctuary planet that was built eons ago. There's a large somewhere in between. We are receiving transmission. Alright. I don't think I've ever encountered this one. Welcome to the sanctuary, sentient. This fully owned was established, blah blah blah. Serve as a natural nature reserve or self-sustaining biome, blah blah blah. blah. It's protected from this current restriction. Do not approach this under thing. Sanctuaries. Slate and Talon's law approach is sent. Your sensors must be mistaken. Do not purchase it. This value is going to buy the same way. We're going to buy the other. Last recorded by the. Do not approach. Okay. So where is the. Where. Where was the. Who? <laughs> I don't I don't know what just happened. Who's where's the where's the ring world? Wait, where who I I didn't actually catch the uh So here's our government. We can reform it. That's stupid for right now. But let's see what our policies are. So of course we want unrestricted warfare, right? I mean, that's obviously. Minimal stockpiling food. We want to put everything into population growth. Limited orbital bombardment is fine for now, but we can do full if we wanted to. So full, whatever. I don't care about life. We'll do that later, though. We can do resettlement for now. Slavery, sure, 
Sure, slavery, why not? Purge, of course. First contact. We're militaristic, so of course we're going to be aggressive. That's who we're playing against. Not attack neutrality. Screw that. Alright, so we're, we're, I don't know where that log entry was, so we'll just continue. Anomaly found. We want oh 40% chance of failure. That's not good, so we're gonna leave that for now. Oh no. All right, so it's like, oh look, he, this dude is like, our elected leader hopes for peaceful relations with with your people, blah blah blah. We don't care for your morality. Oh my God, we should assume the worst. But look at this, the border is just, it's like right there. I could stop him. Situation log updated. More alien vessels. I don't care right now. What I do care about though is blocking this guy. I still think up here is probably the best course of action because here is really probably too close. And Situation log updated. Oh my god. What a, what leave me alone. Oh no. Something's going on here. You got you can you tell me that there's another AI this close? Oh he closed the borders. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah? Yeah? Alright, fine. Let's draw the line, too. Let's draw this line. Where's the communications? Contact. Yeah? You want to close your borders? We're in. Go for it. It's right. Construction complete. System survey complete. Good. So NASA's gonna go survey this guy, because I wanna know what's going on here. Oh! Oh, we are doing this. This is gonna be bad. I'm in. <laughs> You're in. So now, Situation log updated. Oh God, System care. survey complete. All right. So what we're gonna want to do here is, okay. So are you serious? <laughs> like it's it's avoiding this. We'll change this to passive, so it'll actually survey this. So we'll survey this guy first. And then we'll survey this. And then. Survey this, then this, then then this, then this. And while you're doing that, you're gonna come here, you're gonna come here, and then probably probably back here. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna see what we got here. So we got, what do we got? Situation here? log updated. I can't believe I'm encountering so many random stuff here. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna build another. Okay, let's see here. Build around Luna. Boom. What do we got here going on on the surface? Okay. take a little bit to build and then we'll build probably I don't know maybe some type of mining facility I'm not exactly sure yet some tells me I'm gonna need to take over these guys really quickly and we're gonna need to build armies and stuff so I'm letting that go Alright, so 
Now we're just in some waiting game. Here. Oh, good. Construction complete. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Situation okay, log great. updated. Oh, good. Nice. Nice. All right. Good. Wait. Hold on a second. Let me just do this. That mining station. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, okay, it completed the uh, completed the Luna one. All right, it's good. <laughs> I was about to say if that canceled, I'd be pissed. Um, so now we can actually research this anomaly, right? So now the failure risk is 20%, which is acceptable. So I want to go back and research that before this stupid government gets it. Situation log updated. Look at this. Like, how many people I'm getting just like like wrecked. And then once that's done building that, I want it to move over. I want it to move over here. So I'll to move over here. Enter this orbit. You can only build within your home star, I mean within your borders. Oh look. So where's this guy? Oh, he, he's a little farther. All right, so I'm gonna say, well, we'll not be held back. I'm not gonna do anything, because I only want to rival one person, really, right now. So they close their borders, I'm not gonna do anything right now. So I'm, this is the edge. Okay. Alright, so let's do this, 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 this. Then I'm going to bring my ships back to here. Okay, that's my sign ship. Where's this guy? I've, I've investigated enough in, in this vicinity. Where's my other guy? Okay, so this one's over here, so I want to go here, 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 and then back to Seoul. I want to make sure that I'm going to be protected. Now, it's going to take a while to actually build up enough forces to do anything to this guy. Incoming transmission. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so he wants a non-aggression pact, and that's fine because I don't want to attack him right now. I want to attack this guy, which is cool. So I agree to that. So this, this is basically your—I forgot what they call it—traditions. Since I want to expand really quick, I'm going to put my my initial one into expansion. And so basically it allowed me to have an additional population when I colonize a, a new planet, which I'm going to do very quickly. So I'm going to adopt this. Right now. Because then this, the next one I'm going to do is this one. The capital buildings will produce one additional thing of unity. Then I don't, then I don't have to worry about building only all these other stupid unity buildings. So that's good. And let me check out my population on my planet. It's almost done. Oh, come on. Oh, good. Excellent, excellent, good. System survey complete. Construction really complete. Didn't help me at all, actually. This is looking good. I like this. Alright, now if you see, I'm going to create a building, and 
I want a mineral producing building really quick. For now. As soon as this population is done, I'm going to move them over there. And then I have to clear a tile out. Because what I actually want to do is I want to start stockpiling some minerals to build a, a colony ship. But I also need to stockpile some energy credits. So it's actually rather important that I actually build a a mine on this thing right here. So I'll wait, I'll build the mine, and then I'll start stockpiling. Okay, start building there. This is good. While this is waiting to build, I'll be able to collect some research just by virtue of this population being in this vicinity. That's how that works. Anomaly found. Good, 10%. Good to go. Interesting. That's over there. We will not be held back. There's a lot of people around me. I don't like that. I'm xenophobic. Okay, that's fine. This has to be surveyed as well. So does this. Ugh. Oh. Scientists, they call themselves the Institute of Technological Masters for pushing hard for the advancement of science. We will do that. Later. System survey. I have complete. no fear, but construction complete. Alright, good. So that's going. Put that over there. Income. Oh, I did the wrong building. I didn't want a mineral silo. Ah, oh, what a waste of money. I did the wrong building, so watch this. Um. Let's see what this one is. That's the hindsight 2020. I didn't want mineral silo. So let's cancel this. Yep. I want mineral silo. I wanted mining network. What was I doing? Why don't you guys tell me that? Jeez. Alright, so we'll let this go. I don't remember what's going on here. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Science ship. So we want to survey this and then worry about it later. This one's doing whatever it's doing over there. That's fine. Okay, is this building and stuff? It's coming over here right now. Okay, that's good. So basically, the everything happens monthly in this game. Did you see that February had 30 days? Alright, so that's good. So this is going to go... So now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to turtle up a little bit and all right so this is good these are going yep we're not gonna be held back yo so don't even try it so what we're gonna do Incoming transmission. I don't want to war with these guys either. So I will sign a non-aggression pact with them. Now you might be thinking to yourselves, why not sign a non-aggression pact with the guy that's right here? Construction complete. Well, because I want to kill this guy first. Okay, good, we got those people coming back. This is looking good, this is a lot better. Found. All right, 
right, 20% risk, that's fine. We'll research it. Construction oh, complete. Man. Okay, good. Earth is completed, so we'll just get that. Not a lot of minerals right now, but that's okay. Research complete. Okay, good. Now we've got more population growth speed. So, since I don't have the bio lab right now, oh, here's here's an interesting thing. So we can do a frontier clinic, which will increase our growth speed on the planet in addition to giving us some benefit of research, which I normally do first. But the other interesting thing is we really are going to need additional farms too, but I think in the initial, see like this is going to take 44 months, this is going to take 59. We're going to put this here for now. This might be a mistake, but that's okay. So now we're going to basically turtle up a little bit and we're going to make our first colony ship. So if I go into the expansion planner, we'll see what we've got here. Oh, look at this. So we've got a 90%, but look at how much cost of influence it's going to take. So this one is going to cost 198 influence, which is quite a lot to actually colonize. But that's okay, because we're going we're gonna to spend it. The closer the planet is, the less influence you need to spend. But I actually want the borders to be pushed out a lot. I want to be able to get all these stars. So that's why it's important, and I'm getting enough influence basically from the rivalry that I have and other stuff. Also, this is, look at this, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is, look at this, we got, for the early game, we got enough to, to build farms, we got minerals, we've even got some research thing to do, I mean, this is looking good. Let's just see here, 90% habitability, I mean, we're really, that's, that's the one we're doing. Eh, it's okay, nothing, nothing too special there. Yeah, sure. I mean, 13, that's not even, it's not even worth, look at that, small, little small fry, but this is interesting right here. This is interesting. This, this will provide a bunch of power in the future, so this might be a future one when we've got a lot of uh, stuff going on. But it's right near us, so I'm not really that concerned right now. So this is, this is going to be the target. So we're going to, oh. Situation log what do we got updated. Here? Three or higher, we don't have that right now, so we're just going to wait on that. System survey complete. Wait. Anomaly found. What was the anomaly? Okay. 10%, you're good to go. Do it. Okay, so this is... What is this doing? It's fine, whatever it's doing. I don't know what it's doing. Wait. Wait, what's it doing? Why is it doing that? What is going on here? What what did I do? <laughs> I don't know what I did. And then it's supposed to survey that one? Oh my goodness. Alright, I don't know what I just did. So we'll survey this one. What's this one doing? It's going over here, okay. We'll survey this. Then we'll survey this one again. Then we'll survey this. Then we'll survey this. Then we'll survey this. That's probably what I wanted to do. That's fine. Okay, so for the spaceport, for a colony ship, we need 350 credits. Probably should have did this a different way. If I went into the traditions, probably should have did the one on the happiness, which is the one that... That uh, and I don't know. We'll, we'll figure this out later. That's okay, though. We're gonna we're gonna turtle up a little bit, and then we're gonna get a colony really quickly. So this guy.
So, just getting up the credits, because once the colony is starting to go, it's going to be a drain on our Research resources. Research complete. Good. We got here. Pause this. Assist research is pretty powerful, especially in the early game. It gives 10% boost, boost, but you need to have a science ship in orbit of a planet. And for right now, I think we're probably going to need more energy, so I'm going to put this into Power Plant 2 for now. And once this is done, I'm going to get the colony ship built, and I'm going to immediately change the science building into an engineering facility. Alright, actually, uh, that's fine, this is stupid what I'm doing here. <laughs> Survey that. Oh, that's that's great. Survey this. Survey this. Survey this. Survey this. Survey this. Survey this. There you go. Okay, so it's going. Only got a few more months so we can afford a colony ship. And then, um, yeah, it's basically it. we're just gonna continue to just move along here. So I've got a lot of minerals coming in, thankfully, so far. And research complete. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Now, I think we should probably put this into. I mean, building speed is pretty good, 25 percent. I mean, that's pretty good. But the problem is when you actually start a new colony, you really have to wait till you get five population on there to build buildings because you're basically spending twice because you can't build the proper buildings. When you upgrade them, you spend the same amount of money as if you built the building itself. I'll, I'll explain what that means in a little bit. So I think we're gonna do mining number two. Let's give this, let's give this a go. And then we're basically going to wait until we get enough money to build a colony ship. Cause I wanna start getting this rolling. You know, I wanna roll, I gotta roll this going. See they gained a level. They're gaining levels. This is good. So one more month. One more month, and we'll be able to start building a colony ship. Boom! Here we go. So what do we got? Okay, good. Look at that. They're all gaining stuff massively. Alright, so the next thing we want to do while well, that's going to take a year to build, or whatever. System survey complete. So we've got some good possibilities going on here, and once I take this planet, I'll be able to, to do everything over here, too. So now I want to actually get this upgraded, and I, th I don't see how much I need here. 81 credits. So I need 81 credits System to update survey this. Complete. What do we got here? Look at this. Ah, twos. As soon as I can upgrade this, I'll upgrade this, and then I'm going to start spending money on on this uh, research thing over here. Problem with this, you know. Anomaly oh, good. found. Ten percent. Good to go. Research it. Okay. Just one more credit. <laughs> the only thing you can do. So go. All right. So that's going to be upgrading that, and that's good. When this pop actually comes, it'll be researching, so that's also good. And when this is done, we'll immediately send it over there to colonize. Good, all right. Sounds great. Good, good stuff, all right. And I'm going to make this move over to here because I'm going to build a research station to collect that research. 
hopefully we got some good stuff in this system. Okay, how much more we got in the space? Okay, that's going, so this is fine. Okay. Alright. Anomaly found. 40% risk, I'm not, not willing to do that yet. The anomalies are like some of the best stuff you can actually do, so it's it's worth it to just wait. Not too long, because somebody else can get it. There we go. Build that research station right there. That's good. Okay. And as soon as this colony ship is built, I'm going to send it over, because it's going to start draining our resources. Okay, good. So now we've got more research incoming. That's almost done. And then I basically want to clear a a block, a tile, which doesn't cost that much to do. Construction complete. Okay. So I'm going to clear this tile, and I pause this, and now I have the colony ship right here. So I'm going to go to the expansion planner. There's two ways you can do this. You can actually do this from the colony ship directly and tell it to colonize, or you can go into the expansion planner, which I like doing. You basically click the colony that you want to to colonize, the planet you want to colonize. It knows that there is a ship here. I can click colonize and then put this somewhere. So I want to put this in a position that's going to give me the most benefit. So what capitals and stuff do, they basically give a bonus to the buildings surrounding it. They also provide power. Now, in this situation, if I wanted to put, like, they only give bonuses to power buildings, minerals, or food. So research, it doesn't give a bonus to. So if I put this over a tile, though, I lose the bonus that it has unless it has power in there. So if I put it here, I have three possibilities to do. If I put it here, I have three, and then if I don't want to use this piece of research, it's fine too. So I'm just going to put this right here, and sure, that sounds fine. So it'll, so it'll do what it's doing. System so this colony ship is now on its way, and you can see I'm losing credits now because the colony ship takes credits to maintain itself, and that's fine. So we will wait. For it to, to do its thing. In the meantime, construction good. complete. All right. So now we actually have. All right. Who's where's my science ship? Which one is the three? Your three. So now I can actually research this thing. Search this stuff and then where's my other science ship? Okay, it's doing that. I really want this. So you're what's this doing over here? Okay, so it's doing all this stuff here, which is fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you to survey this, then come back to here, survey this, then you could finish this, and come down to here, and then here. And then I'll tell this other guy to do other stuff over here once it's done. You can survey here, you can survey this, you can survey this, you can survey this, and there we go. That's good. So I'm going to go back to the surface, just clearing this tile here for future use, which is going to be good because this pop is almost done building. You can see how fast the population is, is growing on this planet, which is good. Good. Alright, so that tile's now cleared. So once this population is 
fully grown, they will give me some society research, which is good. Or I can move them and to provide some farm, some, some food and such. And that's what we'll do. So this is going to go colonize that. And as soon as it's done, we'll, we'll end this chapter of the playthrough. got enough money to do something. I don't want to fall behind science too much, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a basic science lab now. Colonization in progress. Good. See that? Building our first colony. Now I can actually build mining stations there, which I'm going to definitely do. And look at this. This is good. This is going to be good stuff for now. So I'm going to tell this to come over here, build a research station. Because I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't really map out anything else yet, which was my fault. So you'll see that this is going to continue to be a drain on my resources for a little bit. And if we go and then see what's going on here, I will map this to number two. 21 months to complete. System survey complete. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just let that go for a little bit and then just make sure we're on track here. So now the problem is my research is now going to be special project longer complete. because I have two planets. But to counteract that, once I get enough population, I'll start throwing them into research. That's great. Look at that. And I already got I already got 60 from that. See that? That's why you want to research stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Research, research that first. Okay, so that's good. So this is going to start... So I'm going to start just building research stations. Construction complete. Okay. So that's good. And we'll upgrade this to an engineering facility. I told you we're going to pour stuff in, in, to, into engineering. And the other thing that I want to do is probably worry about power. So we will clear this tile. Nice. Wow, what was that? Whoa, what do we got here? We got a five mineral? Oh, that's, this is going to be good. As soon as that border touches that, this is going to be a good system. See? So this is going to be good. Alright, so that's going to upgrade, and then my research will be a lot better. And then once this is blocked, we'll probably wait for this population to actually grow, and then we'll build a power plant, and that'll probably be for the, the, next, the next one. And then once, basically, let me stop this right now, I'm going to save the game. Let's play. Now, here's the situation. When we come back, what we're going to do is we're going to get the colony established. The new colony established, we're going to wait till there's five population. Then we'll start building it. In the meantime, we're going to have to be concerned with growing the population on Earth right now. Getting that up to speed. Getting the power generation all going and stuff. And then starting to put stuff into industry because I want to basically build a war machine as soon as possible. The problem is that we don't want to lose so much of our technological, we don't want to be disadvantaged technologically, so we'll have to, we'll have to consider that too. 
we don't want to expand to another planet so quickly. We really want to, you know, make the best use of what we have so far. So we're going to make sure that the Earth and then the new colony get really well established and then we'll immediately colonize another one as we're putting money into the war effort that we're going to have with with this green guy right here because we are going to destroy him and I'm, I'm going to basically vassalize him and then he'll be my 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 dude for the for the rest of the game and then eventually I'll integrate him later so that's basically it Stellaris part one done I have no idea how many parts this is going to be but probably going to be at least 20 hours so it's at least 20 parts I guess remember please like comment subscribe share this with your friends too if you like Solaris leave me a, leave me some uh, feedback love to hear from you I'm sure people have been playing this a lot longer than I have and they have tips and tricks so let me know what you guys think be happy to you know take your feedback and and use it too especially the people that are veterans of this game thanks for watching everybody we'll see you in the next one